Do you guys remember when I brought Graham uh, on Aaron Day? He fell asleep. I guess uh, Aaron Day is a little tiring. And yeah, it definitely can be. As part of that errand day, uh, we had to uh, return some caulking and some seals that we were actually gonna use on my mom's house. Upon coming to my mom's house and inspecting the windows, uh, we all agreed that they all need to be completely replaced rather than uh, bandaged up. Uh, what has happened is the inner seals have all let go and so the gas that's inside between the panes it's all leaked out, so we got lots of draftiness, lots of condensation and stuff. My mom's solution to that issue was uh, something that uh, she used to do, or her parents used to do when she was a little girl. Mind you, she's over 80 years old, so I'm not sure how common it is to do those things today. Uh, but she was like, why don't we just put on some storm windows? Uh, we don't have any storm windows. Uh, but she was like, why don't you just get some plastic? and some furring strips and put that on. And so that's what we're doing. So we returned all the caulking because we weren't going to, to reseal, uh, but we're still using caulking because we're gonna try our best to have a gasket-like seal around the plastic that we're putting up and then attaching, find my reach here. <laughs> and then attaching uh, our furring strips. All of these windows need to be replaced so it doesn't matter that we're damaging them. <laughs> it, it broke the screw. That's one of the reasons why you uh, use nails over screws in framing. Low shear strength. Let's try that again. We're screwing directly into the aluminum. There we go. And all the way around, it should fold into place and hopefully work. The one problem that I have with this is it's freaking freezing. If it wasn't so cold, Maybe she would opt to just replace all the windows because we do the labor ourselves. But man, it's so cold. So we're going to do this till spring. You got enough to the left? Yeah, I got plenty. I'm glad it's not too cold for this to stick. Yeah, no kidding, eh? But it is freaking freezing. Look at my hands. Look how red they are. <laughs> Like a furring strip? That was stupid. That was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? Zooming in on that stash. That's my Movember stash. Oh yeah. You I'm know like... what would make this a lot freaking easier and faster? <laughs> oh, are you freaking kidding me with these <laughs> broken screws? You know what would make this a lot uh a lot easier is uh, remember that gun that I had that staple gun uh, yeah I believe, I, I believe so yeah, yeah. that would it this, would be way faster <laughs> way freaking faster <laughs> that's oh. where you tripped on it Oh look, you freaking broke it! I just have to pick up this here. Uh... <laughs> oh, <Bad> down. <laughs> I got mustard on my pants. <laughs> what the heck? I thought you were talking about that the knife. <laughs> you got a little mustard on your shirt too. <laughs>
<laughs> oh god dude you got so lucky it went right in the in between oh my gosh all right well <sighs> Get the stool. Or tail, I mean. Yes. It's gonna work, but if you're already. There we go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Man. Don't really want to do that on camera. What a miserable thing to do when it's cold outside. Uh, you might be able to tell as well, the inside has plastic on it as well, uh, which is what we used to do ever since we were kids living in this house, put the plastic on the windows during the winter. It's just kind of a normal thing to do with cold climate winters when your windows are not very good, uh, draftiness and all that sort of thing. And that used to be good enough, but as the years have gone on, the windows have gotten worse and worse. Now we're trying the outside. We'll see if that works. Now this is definitely not something that we recommend. It's not like a fix per se. This is more of a, a hacky experiment and hopefully it works for this winter. And if it doesn't, oh well, at least we tried. Okay, so yesterday I was leaving my cul-de-sac. <laughs> Uh, on some like highway 770, you know what that, yep. that is, right? Yep. So <laughs> I'm going, and you know how it rained yeah. a couple days ago or whatever? Yeah, yeah. So everything's all packed down hard, and I completely forgot that it rained. <laughs> I, I can't remember what I was doing, I think I was going to work. And someone was in front of me, they were just about to turn right or left, right? And uh, I go, all right, I guess now it would be the right appropriate time to, to apply the brake. So I go, and I'm going about 50, now about 40, and then like, I start sliding, and there's a car right here, right? Oh, and I was like, oh, I let go of the brake because I'm just going to slide right into him. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go right into traffic. I stepped on the brake a little bit, and I, then I like did this, like, and I hit some, like, gravel. So, like, I grabbed traction before I turned into the freaking ditch. I can't, I don't know what this guy must have thought that I was doing. Cause in the, in this rear view mirror, I probably just looked like, do, 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 do. oh, <laughs> just, turned, just, just turned left randomly. And then I turned around and then I was right behind him again. He hadn't turned right or left from the time that it took me to turn and slide. I was sliding to the left side of the ditch to the time that I turned around and I went behind him. He was still there. I wonder what he was thinking. Anyways, I almost crashed mom's car, so there's that. <laughs> that would have sucked. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't know that I was on a sheet of ice, essentially. Don't press on the brake when you're sliding. That's another thing about cold winter climates. Besides having to put plastic on windows, <laughs> you have to have a second set of driving skills. Yeah. Your Facebook status the other day was winter driving when going the speed limit feels like you're speeding or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I said. That's yeah. clever. That's exactly <laughs> what it feels like, uh, after, especially after freezing rain. Right, or like any type, of, any type of snowfall, people are usually more cautious. Yeah, yeah, but black ice is no joke. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, that took way longer than I thought it would it's like it's almost dark out guys oh my gosh it took so long holy hell dude <laughs> it took basically however long it took it was light outside when we started but we got the whole house done minus the couple of windows that that didn't need it because they're Only two. two windows that that are fine they don't they don't have broken seals or whatever uh I think we did good with what we had. Leftover caulking from uh, house reno projects at my place. Shower curtain plastic because we couldn't find heavy plastic because <laughs> the plastic that goes on the inside of the windows is too flimsy, you know, for wind and stuff. Especially today, it's pretty windy. Uh, uh, having that 
be a factor. It could rip off, get holes in it or whatever. So the best solution we could find was shower curtains. And yeah. they seem to, to be holding up. We'll see as time goes on. And these might be a huge failure anyway, but it doesn't matter because, like I said, these windows are garbage. They all need to be replaced anyway. They've lasted, how long have we, like 15, 15 years, years so. or so that we've we've lived there. Our, our mom lives there still uh, within that 15 years. Uh, so they've been okay with the plastic. Now they're just... Yeah, condensation buildup and all that stuff. You kind of don't want that. Um, but anyway, uh, that kind of pooches the day. You know what I'd like to do? What? Although it's too late. I would like to... I would like to find my... <laughs> ah, yes, the stapler. If you're down. Yeah, I'm down. And then if we ever have to do this again, which we won't have to do with that again, probably. That will be so much easier. So much easier. Here's the thing. I don't know where I lost it, but I have an idea. And it's about an hour and a half away. Okay. You down? Yeah, I'll just... I forgot my map. My treasure map and my pick and my... <laughs> and, and my adventure clothes. We will need a shovel. What not shovel? On redemption. Yo, perfect. Oh no, it's dead. And is that one even? I don't even know. I don't even know how it turns on. Press and turn to position the hand. Oh. Like, but how do you turn it on? There's no Two million candlelight power. There's no button to turn it on. What is this? Oh, That's go. dead. Dang, so we don't have flashlights. Nah, not worth it. <laughs> not <laughs> worth it. That's a little close. <laughs> Dude, I think you would have made it. But... Yeah, but you know, in case there was ice. Aw, <laughs> oh, dang it. Hey, do you guys have flashlights? Flashlights? I don't think so. No? They have fireworks, but do they have flashlights? Hello, do you guys have flashlights? Flashlights? Yeah? I was just next door and they didn't have any. A couple of the little ones. Dead. Perfect. That's all? Are they always dead? Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. You too. Got them. These should work. Hopefully. This is the worst road on in all of Edmonton. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not even stabilizing it, so they can. I think they can tell. Yeah. So it took them like eight years to make this road. Granted, my truck is <laughs> my truck is old and it has bad suspension. But every time I go on here, it's just so. Oh, except for when you go on a bridge, it's nice because it's this is pavement, and then this, this right here, this is concrete, and it sucks. It's just like uh, see if you can see the hood. Uh, Up the, 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 the comfort. You know how rolls just like. Have you ever been in a rolls? 
A rolls just rolls over. Yeah, smooth. It's so nice. Uh, I've never been in one, no. I'm, no, okay, well, I met this dude in, uh, remember Paul? Paul. And, uh, remember, yeah, remember when we worked for uh, Gregorino? And we, Paul. we had to go to the rec center. The nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my I, gosh, <laughs> this is so bad. I also started talking to this other guy, his name was Harry, and he was rich ass, but he, <laughs> he, he <laughs> this is so bad. Oh no. Okay, here's a bridge. I'll try to tell the story really quick. Okay, go. He had a Rolls Royce and I saw his Rolls Royce and we started I started just talking about the rolls and then he was like, Oh, do you want to ride in the rolls? And I was like, Hell yeah. So smooth, so luxurious, none of none of this bullshit where everything is just uh, <laughs> Oh no, you didn't. You didn't record me balling, did you? No, no snow or nothing. <laughs> You're like, oh, I thought you lost this yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So last August 17th or 18th, I I lost it there. And the reason why I think it's there is because that's the last time I remember using it. And the reason why I think I left it there, specifically where we're gonna look, is because. That's where I found out that our sister passed away. Ken's calling you. Oh. And it just f with my head, and I think I just left it there because I was, you know, yeah, messed up. And but so anyway, bummers aside, let's see if we can dig it out in one hour. Let's do it. Eternity later. As smooth as a cue ball. Okay, it's scary. 
And uh, so, like, freaking seven-year-old Isabella is like, oh, yeah, let's go on this one, which is, of course, the one that I'm terrified of. So, like, Isabella was like, uh, had no problem going on. So I couldn't say no because I didn't want to look like, well, okay, so my six-year-old niece is going to go on this ride and I'm not. So I reluctantly, I didn't want to, I went on. But you did. I did. And I was, uh, my heart was beating the entire time out of my freaking chest. But I had to play it off like, I, I was like, what is this? Uh, this is nothing. You know? It drops. And of course, I'm like peeing my pants. <laughs> and Isabella is just like, I, I screamed maybe like just a little bit, but like a happy scream. And I'm screaming with glee. Like, woo! And I'm like, ah! On the inside. I couldn't wait for it to end. It, it went back up like three or four times, and I was like, "This is, this sucks." It was like the drop of doom. Go, goes down and goes, it goes back up and it goes down and it goes back up and it goes down. And I, I didn't go on. I have not since gone back on there. I don't like that shit. I okay. So this is weird. I don't like it either, but I love doing it. Hell no, no. I, I like. Uh. You like falling off buildings? That's the experience that I get from it. Yeah, but you know it's safe. Yeah. Relatively safe. Right? Hell no. Did Chances you see that video of that? Yeah, well, unless you're... Yeah. Yeah, I've seen videos where the carnival rides are like... They malfunction? <laughs> no, they malfunction. And then people have to like... Yeah, dude, those ones, like, when they launch people... I don't like that at all. No, me either. I don't like watching that shit. I've watched it. There was a poor... I don't know if we should talk about it, but there was this poor 14-year-old boy. I think I told you about it, right? He was extremely overweight, and so like the uh, the, uh, the the harness, Dude. the harness never closed closed on him. Okay. This is one where he fell out. Yeah. So he, you know, all the way up, not knowing that he's in his life's about to end. And it oh, drops, no. right? Inevitably, it drops. The ride stops. He doesn't. Hits the ground and makes the most cartoon noise oh, I've ever heard. No. Right? And then so, oh, like, it's like like you just dropped spaghetti on the floor, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. I, I know. But, dude, when you make sound effects. Dude. <laughs> okay. No, that's not funny. It dude. would be funny to hear it in... in Oh my gosh. So like the people on the ride are like, get me off, get me off, get me off, get me off. Right. Cause they just witnessed this poor 14 year old who looks like a linebacker just is now a pancake on the floor. Super sad. That's, it sucks. And then no one was like, no one knew what to do. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Super rough. Okay. I thought you were going to tell me something funny like that kid who was like, this hurts. This hurts, oh. Janice, this hurts. Oh, yeah, 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 I do remember that. Oh, dude, that is, yeah. that was so funny. That was very, very funny. Right, she's laughing her head off. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Everyone, go, go search Carnival Ride, This Hurts. Janice, like that. Janice, This yeah. Hurts. Yeah, don't look up the other thing that I talked about. Uh, that'll make you sad. That was very sad. I can't believe I watched it. Yeah, dude, when I know someone's going to die... I didn't think that it was real. It was on Facebook. And I was oh, like, well, yeah. it's going to happen here. Yeah, I was any like, of that what? stuff, anything with animals abuse... Yeah, I can't watch dude, it. it just enrages me, and I'm just like, nope, can't do it. Not going to, because it'll just bum me out. Ruin your day. I think about... Yeah. I've already seen... Too even much. that Sarah McLaughlin commercial, I don't even like watching. Yeah, or the, or the, yeah, the dogs that are dying and shit. Yeah. Even the humans, too. All, all that shit. I For one dollar a day. It's like you're a multi-millionaire. Yeah, they get these rich-ass people. To Why can't like, you help how these? How come you aren't helping these people? For one dollar a day. Wow, really? And you're not helping out? What the hell? They Dude, we're are. all poor. And you want us to, like, what the, f you have money. Why don't you? Dude, if I had Sarah McLaughlin money, you'd best believe I'd yeah. be doing more than just singing about angels. <laughs> <laughs> Hastings Lake. Hastings Lake. Okay, there's there should be like a monument somewhere. I think. Okay, Range Road 204.
Now the thing is, is that we went down several of these roads Wait. to have the best directional, like straightforward thing. And I don't know if it's this one or if it's another one. There was like some military monument somewhere, but it's dark out, so I can't see it now. Uh, I know it was around Range Road 204 or Range Road maybe 205 or 3. The thing is, is that I won't recognize any of this until we get to... <laughs> you didn't tell me any of this. Hey man, you want to help me find this gun that I thought you were talking about losing yesterday? <laughs> I, well, it's... I don't know where it is. It's an hour and a half away. We do have flashlights though. But I can't tell you where it is. And there's snow. We might find it. Right. In a ditch. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> in a place you're not familiar with. I hung it on like a... Like a yield sign or something. Or like a stop sign ahead sign or something. What is this? You don't think that somebody has come along since then? It went... Well, free, it's free deep staple the, gun. It's deep in the ditch. They could have, or even maintenance, like, uh, uh, one of the things that they said when I was hanging up the signs, they said, they told Jared, they're like, they might, maintenance, like road maintenance, might take your sign away. Mm. Uh, because people, like, don't take them down after. Right. And there was, there was people mowing the lawns, or the lawns, the ditches. So... Even if it's still here, it might be in pieces. Ooh. Why didn't I get it back then when I knew that it was missing? Well, because I didn't know until we uh, commenced working on the trailer uh, with Gramps. And then I was like, where's my step? I looked for it for like half an hour and I couldn't find it. And I was like, I bet you I left it here. Mm. So, okay, what is this sign up here? That is not the sign I'm looking for. You know what sucks is I won't even know if I've gone too far. If, if, <laughs> I, if I don't Yeah, see. that's the part that sucks, right? Right, 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 right. Oh wait, this is one of these signs. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, I think, I think, okay, I didn't put it on there. I put it on, I think I put it on that 510 sign, that township road sign. Okay. I think it's right in here. Okay, I'm gonna put on my hazards here. Yeah, this yes, because that's the stop sign right there, and it was on a curve. All right, I guess let's step out and see what we can find. There actually isn't that much snow, so we might be able. To, oh well, actually, kind of there is. Yeah, this is the sign. I put it on here with zip ties that I stapled onto the sign. This ditch is not as deep as I thought it was. It's in the bat bed. It's not that deep. Fun fact guys, this green shovel is Dakota's very first shovel that he got as a kid, probably around three or four years old. And I had one as well. I had a, I got a red one that is now pink and I'm not sure where it was. I just grabbed that one because it, I, I just knew where it was. It could be anywhere in, in here. I don't feel like it would go down this yeah. far. I think that we would have definitely seen an imprint or like a hump. I remember I leaned a ladder against this post here. Then I had it, I probably would have put it on the ground. I remember getting the news and I sat right here. I sat right here. So it might be in this area. 
No, because I used it after I got the news. And I was parked here. So... I think we're the SOL. I should have looked when I thought that it was here. Why yeah. didn't I? I don't know why. If this snow is just a, a little bit less, I think we would have we would have found it by now if it was here. Maybe I'll come back in the spring. <sighs> Some people might be going like, hey, uh, why does it even matter? You already left it this long. I left it this long because of stupidity. But uh, it looks like this, and it costs that amount. And it sucks that uh, I wasted that because I only used it for my fence and this. I've used it twice. Twice! Ah! On the plus side, dude. Ah, that's oh. a bummer. I thought, I thought I would find it. There is a chance that I didn't leave it there. I may have left it at Obsidian. Obsidian is where my friends got married. Oh, there's so many friends. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know them. Maybe I'll get Jared to call them. Like, how late is it? Check the lost and found. Check the lost and found. They'd probably use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this was a, a treasure hunt that went nowhere. Yeah, it kind of sucks that it's dark out and we, we kind of just didn't really... <laughs> how cool would it have been, though, if we found it? <laughs> I found the sheath! <laughs> always crack me up. No one knows what that is. So, yeah, I think you've told the story, haven't you? Maybe on Just Joshing with Dakota I've told it. Yeah, so there was a huge brush pile by our house when we lived in Edmonton. And uh, we were always up to no good. We were always... I don't even think we were allowed to even... The landlord... Didn't of, like of us the... crawling and playing. And yeah, no, he didn't like kids. Didn't like us around there. Because we played cowboys and Indians a lot and uh, with our neighborhood friends and stuff. And we wanted knives. And I was like, okay, so parents are not going to allow us. They're not just going to buy us kids knives. Um, but one day I had this very strong feeling that it was going to be a good day because I was going to find something to make the knife with and I was like that brush pile that's in the field uh, probably has something I don't know why I thought that because it was all just wood just and big grass clippings and like logs, logs just yeah. tree branches and it was just a big huge pile it was just yeah there. ready to get burned uh, in the winter uh, this was summer sometime wake up eat breakfast so excited walk out to that brush pile walk around it once walk around it a second time and i see this little glint right just a little just a little shimmer of something and i'm like oh i thought it was a candy bar wrapper but for whatever reason i stuck my arm in grabbed the shininess and it was not crinkly it was it was solid and i pulled out a knife yeah and it had like a six inch blade yeah, something like that. Uh, I still have it, so I'll show pictures. Yeah, it's super cool. I remember. So you found it. Yeah. You found you found the the knife that day. That day. And I was super stoked. Yeah. And then, what's a knife without a sheath? Right. Next day, we're like, okay, well, we found this knife. Why don't we find something to make a sheath with? 
maybe some rubber, some leather, some anything, any material that would work to make a sheath so that we could like sew up or something into a, a holder for the blade, right? Go back to that same brush pile. Hasn't let us down yet. Right. We'll walk around it once, don't find nothing. Walk around it again, looking down, and I see this ladybug. And I'm like, oh, ladybug. And then I'm like, in my head, exploding excitement. And I still feel bad to this day. You guys know that I save bugs from the dog water dish. So with that knowledge, here's, here's what happened next. I see the ladybug, my eyes widen, and I'm super stoked because the ladybug is on top of a very knife shaped piece of leather <laughs> and I grab it and you're on the other side of the brush I was pile. On, I was on the east side of the of the brush pile. Yeah and I would have been like southwest. Yeah and <laughs> what what happens from your so, perspective? So I'm also looking for said sheath right? I actually kind of lazily I was my op optimism was very low, okay? I'm like, we're not finding anything in here, right? Nothing at all. All of a sudden, I found it! I found the sheath! Here he is, comes running with his arm in the air. He has it, I can't remember which arm it was, but he's running, screaming, I found the sheath! I found the sheath! I found the sheath! He's running towards me, full tilt, like a cartoon. <laughs> Like comes up to me, shows me the sheath, super excited. We didn't have the knife with us, I don't think. No, or was, did we? It was at home still. I can't remember. Uh, but you were super excited. No, and we, if we were to have found, dude, if, if I would have found the freaking gun, that's exactly what I would have done. I found the gun! <laughs> <laughs> you were super excited. And I'll never, I'll never forget that. Yeah, I don't think I will either. Now, why did I feel bad? That ladybug, I picked up the sheath and I threw it in the air and the ladybug went flying. And I remember <laughs> seeing the ladybug, but I was so excited. I hesitated picking it up and throwing it, but I threw it, threw the shit out of it. And then I was like, I found it. And then I, it landed. I picked it up again and I ran towards Dakota. I found the sheath, right? And my little boy, high pitched, cracking voice. Dude, the chances of, first of all, finding a knife in the brush pile, that's slim to none. And then finding the sheath that belongs to that knife in the same brush pile, outside enough where you can grab it, mm -hmm. also very minimal chances of finding it, and you did. Yeah, found both of them. That's crazy. Now, some of you are probably thinking what, uh, what we should have been thinking, what our mom should have been thinking, and our older brothers maybe, why was a knife in a pile destined to be burned? Mm. What was this knife used for? Now, if you watch uh, our channel that we do together, Just Joshing with Dakota, you know some of the stories from our childhood and that neighborhood. It was ghetto ass. Mm. And uh, there were some characters there. And I still wonder if this knife was used for some nefarious purpose. May perhaps. Probably, we'll never know, but we still have it. <laughs> anyway, this was a bust. I'm gonna come back in the spring. I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated on this. But in the meantime, do you wanna get something to eat? Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, let's go. But first, we'll get some gas. Check it out, guys. Freaking payphone. Remember those? For those of you who are young, pay phones used to be the thing that you had before these things that can also record video. Okay, just grabbing some gas here because it's only a dollar twenty-eight. Which is pretty good. Oh, I can't even pay here. Oh, you got diesel. Yeah, that's a bummer for you. Hello. 
Uh, just gonna three K on the other side, the of, other the side of that truck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Not regular. How much? Uh, let's go. Let's go with a uh, hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. And that's everything. Uh, yeah. Okay. I feel like that actually is gonna be too much because it will just put it back on your car. Perfect. Okay. This is. Gas hasn't been this cheap in so long. So I now, know. <laughs> now I kind of just. You have the mindset for the more expensive stuff, yeah. right? I only need to fill one of the tanks. So. Perfect. All right, thank you. Yeah, have a good one. You too. You too, man. Three dollars. There we go. That's awesome, I guess. Here, for whatever reason, is cheaper than in the city. This is like the middle of nowhere, usually, that uh, dictates a higher uh, price. So that's weird. It only cost me eighty-three dollars to fill up. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's awesome. Right. Compared to what you have been paying. Oh yeah, usually it's uh, two hundred dollars. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> just every week. You just come here every week now. <laughs> yeah, just just drive an hour and a half away to save <laughs> some money. That's hilarious. Okay, now let's go get something to eat. But first, uh, pepper wings I'd like to try that and new tamper proof box okay not tamper proof at all no look you can put this right you can just put it back this is supposed to like rip right anyways okay but I want to see how hot these wings are they're not no? Let me tell you the. Well, anyway, I uh, for this guy. Here, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I guess it's a pretend. There's a pepper right there. Pretend. Yeah, you can't see it. Not good? That ain't even hot. No, it's Are not. Are you sure? Not at all. Try it. It's called okay. ghost pepper. <laughs> Those are good. They're tasty. Mm. They're not even a little bit hot, I don't think. How about you? No, they are spicy. My mouth is tingling. 
My lip is, my tongue is very hot. Really? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they are very hot. Really? Yeah. No, I mean. Here, have some ranch. I got some. Thank you, though. That is tasty, though. I get a little kick, but not. I don't have anything. It's not enough for me to, like, whoa, I can't eat this. You know, it's not even close. Mm. This is nothing. No, I know. Like, I'm not sweating, but it's definitely spicy. Really? Yeah. Spicy to me is like when I go, Woo! Yeah. I'm not even close to that. <laughs> You're almost coughing. Yeah. Oops. That is disappointing. Ever since you got COVID, nothing called for you. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm a pretty spicy connoisseur. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, like, Did you get Delta? Delta? COVID? Delta? Oh, I don't know. I didn't name it. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't name it either. That's just the one I got. I wasn't that close to it. <laughs> no, I don't know. What, I don't know what Did you lose your taste or smell no, or anything? No. You probably got. Omni I, got the, uh, I got the body ache one, whatever that gives you the body ache. And, uh, this is not hot even a little bit. Might have to put it on some, some Franks. We have Franks. <laughs> yeah, it's disappointing, isn't it? Hmm. This is about as hot as like the Taco Bell mild sauce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not hot. Not hot to me. Maybe they gave us the wrong one. The Franks doesn't have as good of a taste. No. no this has like a weird, almost tanginess to it. Disappointing. Yeah. But hey, they still taste good. Yeah, they do. So did you find the... Pickle? No, we did not find it. We found the spot that I thought it was in, like, right away. Okay. Like, turned at the right turn. Oh. Well, uh, I didn't really recognize anything because it was dark. Anyways, I see the post. post there, and we get out and we start digging around, and it's not there. So it's not that deep. But it could have gotten moved. Or someone took it. Someone could have found it there. Um, a lawnmower could have ran it over. Yeah. Or perhaps I didn't leave it there. Yeah. I want to go with either you didn't leave it there or someone took it. Yeah. I kind of wish that I would have, when I thought of it, when Gramps was here and I couldn't find it, I wish that we would have gone out then and looked for it then. Yeah. But I called Garrett and he's going to ask. I'm seeing if I left it there somewhere. But I don't know where I would have used it. I, the only, the last place I remember you using it was at that post. And it can call you. Then I used it again. Yeah, and then you, I thought you put it in your truck, but I don't know, maybe you didn't, maybe you did. I don't know. Did you grab that one? For her. Oh, did I show you this? I've seen that. Yeah? Yeah, it's a long john, right? Yeah, but it's a freaking rock. Right. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? That was great. Thanks for dinner. Oh, you're welcome. It was Dakota's idea. Can I give this to someone? Yeah, give it to him. Okay guys, we were just at Home Depot getting our Christmas tree, uh, which was right through those doors. Coming back, see this clearance rack, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what's in here, and look what I found. This is, this is my staple gun. Clearance, it's $479, so I think I'll leave it. I hope that I'll be able 
super fine mine. But yeah, that's totally it. <laughs> oh, I just got a text from Heather. That's probably the plumber's certificate. Thank you, Heather, for the uh, for doing the, that for us. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.